Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, wait times at our ERs are dangerously long and are continuing to get longer. Here at the Chalmers Hospital in Fredericton, they sometimes exceed 20 hours, and that's no fault of the hardworking staff in our ERs. A big part of the problem is every day, 20 or so people, for example, the Chalmers are admitted to the hospital from the ER. But you know what? There are no beds waiting for them. So they're trapped in ER exam rooms, often hooked up to equipment, both of which need to be freed up to enable people to move from the waiting room into the ER department to be cared for. The result is long wait times, and um, we need, therefore, an immediate, concrete, and practical solution. And here is one. Will the minister ensure there is funding in the budget to ensure Horizon and Vitality can establish short stay wards in our hospitals so that they can go somewhere where they're waiting to get onto our regular ward rather than end up in dangerous Thank you, member. Minister of Health. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and we certainly have been aware of the challenges facing health care right across the province in New Brunswick, not specifically to uh, just the deck, but the other facilities that are, again, serving the people as best as possible. And I do want to thank all the, uh, all the frontline staff that have been working very, very hard in order to serve the public. When it comes to, uh, to specific wait times, uh, we, we, when I say we, uh, our department, uh, the Premier's office, the RHAs, the CEOs, we track things on a regular basis. And uh, we can see what the wait times are in the various facilities. And if there are certain practices that should be uh, copied from institution to institution to make sure those wait times are getting better. And the DEC has done a number of different things, a number of different initiatives that have helped that patient flow uh, through to, so that uh, people will be better served. But at noon, I am making an announcement of an... Thank oh, you. I ran out of time. <laughs> Member for Friends and South and Leader of the Party. Mr. Speaker, the Minister of Health will be cutting a ribbon on an unequipped, understaffed clinic that is only able to operate two days out of the week because he wants to cut the ribbon now at noon, long before that urgent care centre is ready for prime time. We need short stay wards in our hospitals now to end the dangerously long wait times for our, uh, uh, for our ERs and to end the long off-flow delays for our paramedics. Patients need this, ER doctors and nurses need this, paramedics need this now. Instead of cutting ribbons on empty clinic clinics, why won't this minister sharpen his pencil, write a note to the finance minister, and request that the funding needed to establish short stay wards to solve the ER weight problems is accomplished? Well, thank you very much, uh, and, and again, I appreciate that question. The fact of the matter is, I'm not cutting a ribbon on an empty clinic, Mr. Speaker. I am cutting in the ribbon on an urgent treatment centre that's starting out to have hours uh, two days a week, and it will expand to seven days a week. Mr. Speaker, the urgent treatment centre model is successful in other provinces and uh, I have no doubt that it will be successful here in the Fredericton area to take some of the fours and the fives off the stress and strain that's being felt in the emergency room here at the deck. And Mr. Speaker, this is a model again that we appreciate the staff and how they've managed to use the resources that are available in order to staff this facility so that people can go there with uh, the, the issues that aren't necessarily emergency emergent emergencies but urgent and that again is concrete action this government is taking to make health care better in the province of New Brunswick thank you minister <laughs> member for Leader well mr speaker here's another practical concrete solution to long er wait times and that's to provide the rhas with the resources to end the understaffing of our er's after midnight i'm talking about the phenomena of the night doctor for example, here at the Chalmers, after midnight, there's one doctor on duty, the night doctor. That night doctor has to contend with all the emergencies that come in that night by him or herself when there's already a backlog of patients in the ER waiting room. By the time the night doctor is relieved by the full ER team in the morning, they're there facing a long list of people who've been waiting for care all night. Will the minister ensure that the health care budget includes money to replace a night doctor with a fully staffed 
ER team needed to provide full service all night long in our hospitals. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Minister of Health. Well, again, Mr. Speaker, the member across the way is looking at uh, trying to throw out some ideas that uh, may, may look like on the surface that they're solving a problem, but uh, in the long run, it's, uh, it's not addressing the real situation. And when you look at the overnight ER, and again, when we ask the uh, RHAs to again work with the resources uh, and make sure that it's most efficient, there are people on call. There are full teams on call. So if there's someone with a, with a situation that needs a, a cardiovascular surgeon or again, um, the first thing that comes to my mind, there's people on call that they can come in and take care of those patients. So the way the member opposite paints it is not really as accurate as what is uh, going on on a day-to-day -day basis. And, and again, when we look at the recruitment that we're doing to make sure that there's uh, resources in the areas that are needed, and we're recruiting family doctors, we're recruiting, we're helping the RHAs recruit specialists, we're helping the RHAs manage the... Thank you, the Minister. The opposition officials.